Hello students, welcome to this video which is connected with previous year's questions from NEET, JEE, KCET and other competitive examinations. In this video, we will answer questions from chapter number 1 that is physical world as well as chapter number 2 that is units and measurements. The important steps as explained earlier in solving multiple choice questions are first step is decode the concept, the second step is identify the formula and third one is focus on the requirement. It may please be noted that some of the questions asked in the competitive examinations are pertaining to chapters that are going to be taught in forthcoming chapters of class 11 as well as all chapters of class 12. Though we have covered questions from all sections of chapter 1 and chapter 2, but you have the liberty to skip some of the questions which are related to the advanced formulae that are that have not been taught to you in class 11 and class 12 till the date so you can view it again after learning all the chapters and completing portions of class 11 and class 12 just to get an exposure for you and practice we have taken up only simple questions of chapter number 1 and 2 hence i welcome you once again Please note down all the important points. Welcome once again. Let us take up certain multiple choice questions of chapters 1 and 2. That is, chapter 1 and 2 includes both units and dimensions. Question number 1. Dimensions, dimensions of a stress are this is asked in the NEET examination 2020. The four choices are option A within big bracket M capital M capital L square T to the power of minus 2. Close the bracket. That is option A. Option B is open the bracket capital M L to the power of 0 T to the power of minus 2. And the third option is, is open the big bracket capital M L to the power of minus 1 T to the power of minus 2. And the fourth option is capital M capital L and T to the power of minus 2. So we have to find the dimensions of stress. So for this we should know define the stretch stress so stress is given by stress is equal to force per unit area force is m l t to the power of minus 2 that is area is l square therefore stress will be equal to force is m l t to the power of minus 2 divided by l square that is force is m l t to the power of minus 2 divided by l square that is equal to m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 the correct answer is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 this answer is in option option number c let us mark it so, C is the correct answer. Next, next question. Question number 2. The density of material in CGS system of units is 4 grams per centimeter cube. That is, mass is 4 grams, volume is centimeter cube. In a system of units in which the unit of length is 10 centimeter and unit of mass is 100 gram, the value of density of material will be please interpret the question. So, in CGS system, the density is 4 grams per centimeter cube. So, we are required to convert it and find the value of density in a system where the unit of length is 10 centimeters. 
not centimeters, 10 centimeters and unit of mass is 100 gram. Four options are given. So we have to calculate that. So let us do some numerical calculation. We know density D is given as 4 grams per centimeter cube. So unit of length in this is 1 centimeter and unit of mass is 1 gram. This is the given system. In another system, the mass is 100 grams and unit of length is 10 centimeter. That is also given. Now we have to redefine the density. So therefore density is equal to 4 into 100 gram. G is there. G we have to substitute in another system that is 100 gram divided by 100. That is that is kg. 100 gram divided by 100 divided by that is 10, 10 divided by 10 whole cube that is 10 centimeter unit length that is 4 by 100 4 by 100 into 100 gram divided by 1 by 10 whole cube this is 1 by 10 and you separate 10 centimeters separately so that is 10 centimeter cube so this is 1 by 10 whole cube into 10 to the power of 10 centimeter whole cube. This is the new unit. 100 G is new unit. 10 centimeter is the new unit. So therefore, simplifying, we get to take out this 4 by 100 divided by 1 by 10 whole cube. If you simplify, we'll get 4 by 100 into 10 cube into 100 G by 10 centimeter cube as it is. And you simplify here, here 10 cube, it is 10 square. It, it goes two times and one remains. Therefore, answer is 40 units. Next question. Unit of permittivity of free space epsilon naught is, this is asked in year 2004 so we have to find four options are given here you read the options if you know the answer permittivity if you know the unity of permittivity of free so straight away you mark it otherwise we have to do some calculations we know force is given by q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square this is from coulomb's law force between two charges q1 and q2 we know from Coulomb's law, this is the force is given by Q1, Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. So Q1 and Q2, we can have a charge, unit of charge is Q square. And R is the distance or length 4 pi F. And F is given here, 4 pi F, rearrange it. So epsilon naught, you take it on the left side. And F, you take it on the denominator. You get, this is Q is Coulomb, Coulomb square divided by Newton meter square. The R square is meter square and F is Newton. So the correct answer is Coulomb square per Newton meter square. So this is given in option D. Please don't get confused with the option A. Option A is Newton meter whole square. This is Newton dash meter square. This is R square. So option D is the correct answer. The next question is the unit of Stefan Boltzmann constant is so here four options are given watts per meter square Kelvin to the power of 4 or watts per meter square or option C watts per meter square Kelvin or option D is watts per meter square K square so let us solve it Stefan's law E is equal to sigma AT to the power of 4 this you have to remember Stefan's law E is equal to sigma AT to the power of 4 where E is the energy dissipated per second A is the surface area and T is the absolute temperature in Kelvin so therefore we have to rearrange sigma so he has asked us Boltzmann constant is sigma here. Therefore, sigma is equal to E divided by A T to the power of 4. E is the energy that is in watts. A is meter square, m square into K to the power of 4. T is K to the power of 4. This option is watts per meter square K to the power of 4 is given in option A. Let us mark it. 
Next. Question number unit of length, mass, and time are chosen to be 10 centimeters, 10 gram, and 0.1 second respectively. The unit of force in this system will be equivalent to. So we are required to find the unit of force in this system. Four options are given. Option A, 0.1 newtons. Option B, 1 newton. Option C, 10 newtons. And option D, 100 newtons. Let us find out. We know force is equal to mass into acceleration. And acceleration is length into length divided by time square. So substituting, we get a 10 g is the is the mass, 10 centimeter is length, and 0 0.1 seconds is the time. So that becomes we have to convert it into grams into kg. That becomes 10 to the power of minus 2 kg, and centimeters into meter, 10 to the power of minus 1 meters, and 10 to the power of minus 1 seconds, whole square. So that becomes simplifying, it becomes 10 to the power of minus 1 newtons because 1 newton is equal to 1 kg meter per second square. The correct answer is 0 0.1 newton. Let us mark it. Next question. If x is equal to at plus bt square, where x is the distance traveled by the body in kilometers, while t is the time in seconds, the unit of B is. So in this equation, we have to find the unit of the coefficient of t square, that is B. So let us do it. So given x is equal to at plus bt square, we have to write the dimensions of x as L. And so the right side has to be B as it is in, into t square. We can neglect this because this is also a distance only. AT is distance. So, so we are required to find the BT. So BT square. So therefore B is equal to L divided by T square. That is the L by T square is the dimensions of acceleration. So the unit of B should be kilometers per second square. This option is appearing as C. So you please mark it. Next question. The unit of thermal conductivity is four options are given. Option A joules meters per kelvin joule per meter per kelvin and c is watts meter per kelvin option d is watts per meter per degree kelvin so let us find out so amount of heat is given by the formula h is equal to k a into t2 minus t1 divided by l into dt that is T2 minus T1 is the change in temperature. DT is the time. Small t is time. So therefore, taking differential, dH by DT is equal to Ka by L is constant. T2 minus T1 is the delta T, that is change in temperature, where K is the coefficient of thermal conductivity. Therefore, K is given by rearranging L into dH by DT divided by A into delta t delta capital t so this is k is nothing but l by a is 1 over m that is m to the power of minus m and degree kelvin delta t is per k to the power of minus m minus 1 and dh is watts so the unit is watt per meter per degree kelvin therefore option d is correct next question Question number eight. A physical quantity of dimensions of length that can be formed out of C, G and E square by 4 pi epsilon naught is where C is the velocity of light, G is the gravitational force and E square by 4 pi epsilon naught E is the, is the charge of electron and E epsilon naught is the permittivity. We have to find amongst the Three, four different formulas given as option A, option B, option C, and option D. For this, we have to do some simple calculation. So L is equal to C to the power of X. Let L is equal to C to the power of X. Because L we have taken a left-hand side, 
the dimensions are given as length. Okay, so the L is equal to c to the power of x, g to the power of y into e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into e to the power of z. Now we have to substitute the dimensions. So dimensions of velocity we know is L2 to the power of minus 1 and dimensions of gravitational force is m to the power of minus 1 L cube t to the power of minus 2. And we know the charge is ml cube into t to the power of minus 2 into the power of z. Now we have to simplify and combine the, rearrange the powers of length, mass and time. Put rearranging, we get and we simplify and find the values of x. x is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to y is equal to half simplifying hence l is equal to 1 by c square if you put the values of here l is equal to x c to the power of x is c to the well, c to the power of minus 2 that is 1 over c square g y is equal to half so g is equal to g as it is to the power of half e square by 4 pi epsilon naught also half G, E have the same power, Y and Z, therefore it becomes half. So this is the correct equation. This value is available in option number D, that is D here, mark it. Next, next question. If energy E Velocity v and time are chosen as the fundamental quantities. The dimensional formula of surface tension will be that is, in this problem, energy, velocity, and time are taken as the fundamental quantities. We have to find the dimensional formula. So, dimensional formula of surface tension. Surface tension by definition is force per unit length that is, F by L force is ml t to the power of minus 2 length is l therefore l and l gets cancelled surface tension is m into t to the power of my m t to the power of minus 2 so energy is force into displacement so we have to multiply this force into this term therefore it becomes energy is ml square force is ml square t to the power of minus 2 And velocity is displacement over time. V is equal to LT to the power of minus 1. Therefore, surface tension will be S is equal to, let surface tension be, because we have chosen energy, velocity and time as a units, fundamental quantity. So, let it be e to the power of a, v to the power of b and t to the power of c. Therefore, surface tension we have found m t to the power of minus 2 is equal to m l t to the power of minus 2 that is energy to the power of a and velocity to the power of b, l t to the power of minus 1 into b and t to the power of c. Therefore, equating dimensions, we get A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 2, and C is equal to minus 2. Hence, S is given by E, V to the power of minus 2, T to the power of minus 2. This formula is given in option B. Let us mark it. Next question. If dimensions of critical velocity Vc of a liquid flowing through tube are expressed as eta to the power of x, rho to the power of y, and r to the power of z, where eta, rho, and r are coefficient of viscosity of liquid, density of liquid, and radius of tube respectively, then values of x and y and z are given by four options are there. Option A, minus 1, minus 1, 1. Option B, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And option C, 1, 1, 1. And option D, 1, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 1. 
we have to find it out. Let it is given, we see velocity is given as eta to the power of x, rho to the power of y and r to the power of z. So we know velocity is lt to the power of minus 1. Therefore, coefficient of viscosity eta is equal to force per this is by definition. This definition you have to remember. Force divided by 6 pi r v. So the force is ml t to the power of minus 2. R is L and V is L T to the power of minus 1. That is equal to simplifying. We get M L to the power of minus 1, T to the power of minus 1. So density rho is M by L cube. That is mass over volume. That is M L to the power of minus 3. And L is, R is, is the radius and that is L. Therefore, substituting in the given formula, we see m, m to the power of 0. m is missing in here. So we will put it as m to the power of 0. l to the power of minus 1 is equal to m l to the power of minus 1, t to the power of minus 1 to the power of x. And m l to the power of minus 3, 2 to the power of 0, y. And m 0, l 1 and t to the power of 0 to the power of z. Substituting, comparing the powers of left hand side and right hand side and simplifying we get x values of x as x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to minus 1. These calculations you please note down in your notebook and do it meticulously and you will find x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to minus 1. Therefore, this option is available in option D. So, you please mark it. Next question. If force f, velocity v and time t are taken as fundamental units, then dimensions of mass are, four options are given. So everything should be in terms of force f, velocity v and time t. So let us find out the dimensions of mass. So mass is equal to m into a. Therefore mass is equal to force by velocity over time. f is the... the the required dimension f velocity is the required dimension v to the power of minus 1 and t so f v to the power v to the power of minus 1 t is the correct answer so therefore mark it to t next question is the pair of quantities having same dimensions is so four options are given what are the pairs this pair uh, pairs are given as option A, Young's modulus and energy. Option B is impulse and surface tension. Option C is angular momentum and work. Option D is work and torque. We are required to find out which one is having the same dimension, which pair is having the same dimensions. If you know readily the answer, you please mark it immediately. And for those of you who do not know, let us work out. Work is equal to force into displacement. Force is equal to ml t to the power of minus 2 within bracket l. That is equal to m l square t to the power of minus 2. That is the dimension for work. And dimension of torque, which is defined as force into force arm, that is also same as work that is ml square t to the power of minus 2. Hence option D is the correct option. Please mark it. Question number 13. The dimensions of mu naught epsilon naught whole to the power of half are four options are there. Option A L to the power of half t to the power of half. Option B, L to the power of minus 1, t, t to the power of 1. Option C, L into t to the power of minus 1. D is L to the power of minus half, t to the power of half. So, we have to find out what are the correct dimensions. We know mu naught epsilon naught whole to the power of minus half is nothing but 1 over that is nothing but c that is equal to c that is speed of light 
speed of light is v naught distance over time taken that is its dimensions are l t to the power of minus 1 hence the correct answer is l t to the power of minus 1 which is given as option c next question question number 40 the dimensions of half epsilon naught e square where epsilon naught is permittivity of free space and E is the electric field e is given by for choice A ML square T to the power of minus 2 option B ML to the power of minus 1 T to the power of minus 2 option C ML square T to the power of minus 1 and option D is ML T to the power of minus 1 so this question is asked in 200, uh, 2010 in the year 2010. Explanation. Half epsilon naught e square represents the energy density. That is energy per unit volume. That is given by energy per unit volume is energy we know is m l square t to the power of minus 2. That is energy divided by volume is l cube therefore simplifying it becomes m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 this is given in option b so please mark it next question if dimensions of a physical quantity are given by m to the power of a l to the power of b and t to the power of c that is the dimensions are m to the power of a, l to the power of b and t to the power of c. Then physical quantity will be, four options are there. Velocity, whether it is a velocity if we have found, find if a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 1. Now the next option is b, that is the given physical quantity is acceleration is acceleration if a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 2 and option c is force if a is equal to 0 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 2 and option d is pressure if a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 2 so here the four different options have four different physical quantities that is whether we have to find whether it is a velocity or acceleration or force or pressure depending upon the values of a b and c in the given equation now we have to evaluate it let us evaluate so we know pressure is equal to f by force per unit area Therefore, that is equal to force is m into m l t to the power of minus 2 within brackets divided by area is l square. So, l square and l, we get, one l gets cancelled and this l becomes l to the power of minus 1. Therefore, m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2. Therefore, the answer is a is equal to here in this a power m is power a l is minus 1 that is b is minus 1 and c is minus 2 where is that a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 this is a d so for the pressure is the correct answer next question which of the following five physical parameters have the same dimensions we have to find energy density, refractive index, dielectric constant, and Young's modulus and magnetic field. So he has given five physical parameters, and we have to find which have the same dimensions, whether it is B and D, that is refractive index and dielectric constant have the same physical dimensions c and e have the same dimensions that is c is dielectric constant and e is the magnetic field a and d a is energy density and e is magnetic field 
and D is A and E. A is energy density, E is magnetic field. We know refractive index and dielectric constants have no dimensions. Now we will take up the rebalance 3. Energy density is energy over volume. Energy is dimensions of energy are m l square t to the power of minus 2 divided by l cube. That is equal to l square goes l square cancel and 1 l remains here. Therefore, l m l minus l m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 2 are the dimensions of <coughs> energy density. Young's modulus is force per unit area into L over delta L. That is force is M L T to the power of minus 2 into divided by A is L square. This L is L. Delta L is once again L. So therefore L L gets cancelled. 1 L. M L to the power of minus 1 T to the power of minus 2. So Young's modulus has dimensions M L minus 1 t to the power of minus 2. Now let us calculate for magnetic field B, F over IL. That is equal to M L t to the power of minus 2 A into L. That is M into t to the power of minus 2 A to the power of L. Therefore, energy density and Young's modulus have the same dimensions. That is A and D, where A and D is C in C. C is the correct answer. Next, we will take up question number 17. Taking into account the significant figures, what is the value of 9.99 meters minus 0.0099 meters? This is the question asked in competitive examinations of various state governments, state boards, as well as NEET and other JEA examinations. You have been given four options. Option A, 9.98. Option B, 9.980 meters. Option C, 9.99 meters. And Option D, 9.98 0, 1 meters. Let us analyze in subtraction. So, given a value is 9 subtraction of 0 0.0099 from 9.99 meters. So, in subtraction, the number of decimal places in the result should be equal to the number of decimal places of that term in operation which contain lesser number of decimal places. Note here, contain lesser number of decimal places. Therefore, 9.99 minus 0.0099 is equals 9.9801. At least number of decimal places is 3. So, the answer should be 9.98 meters. This answer is given as option A. Hence, this is the correct value and please mark it. Next question. Question number 80. A screw gauge has least count of 0.01 millimeter and there are 50 divisions in its circular scale. The pitch of the screw gauge is four options are given. Option A 0.25 millimeter, option B 0.5 millimeter, option C 1.0 millimeter and option D is 0.01 millimeter. This question is asked in the year 2020. So let us analyze it first. Least count of screw gauge is given as 0.01 mm. So therefore least count is equal to pitch divided by number of divisions on the circular scale. So that is equal to least count is given as 0.01 mm pitch we have to find out divided by number of divisions on the on the circular scale that is given as 50 
it is given as 50. So, simplifying 50 into 0 0.01 is 0 0.5 mm. This answer is available as option B in your choice. So, you please mark the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 19. In an experiment, the percentage of error occurred in the measurement of physical quantities, capital P, Q, capital Q, capital R and capital S are 1%, 2%, 3% and 4% respectively. Then the maximum percentage of error in measurement X where X is equal to P square into Q square divided by R to the power of 1 by 3, S to the power of 3. This question is asked in 2019 examinations and the options given are option A 3 by 13 percent, B 16 percent, option C is minus 10 percent and option D is 10 percent. You have to mark the correct answer. First let us analyze. So X is given as p square into q to the power of half. You please note here, it is q to the power of half. In the question, it is q to the power of half divided by r to the power of 1 by 3 s to the s cube. So, this is given in the question. Therefore, percentage x is given by, we know, delta x by x is equal to p square is 2 into delta p by p into 100 because it is percentage plus half into delta q by q plus 1 by 3 into delta r by r plus 3 into delta s by s all multiplied in by 100 for percentage error. Therefore, that becomes 2 into delta p is given as 1%, delta p by p is given as 1% plus half into delta q by q is given as 2% here in the second line question second line of the question 2% plus 1 by 3 into delta r by r is 3% here 3% plus 3 into s into s means s delta s by s is 4% that is you substitute the values of error so, percentage error you substitute and simplify, calculate, it becomes 2% into 1%. Half into 2 is 1% plus 1 by 3 into 3 is also 1% plus 3 into 4 is 12%. Adding you will get 2 plus 3, 4 plus 12, that is equal to 16. This answer is available in the option B. You please mark it as option B. Option B is the correct answer. Next question. Question number 20. The main scale of a vernier caliper has n divisions per centimeter. n divisions of vernier scale coincides with n minus 1 divisions of main scale. The least count of vernier calipers is four options are given. Option A 1 over n into n plus 1 centimeter. Option B, 1 over n plus 1 into n minus 1 centimeter. Option C is 1 over n centimeter. And option D is 1 over n square centimeters. Let us analyze this question quickly. Therefore, it is given n vernier scale division is equal to n minus 1 divisions of main scale division. That is, n VSD is equal to n minus 1 MSD. So, therefore, 1 VSD will be is equal to n minus 1 over n MSD. This is simplifying or cross multiplying. That is equal to, therefore, least count is equal to, we also know that least count is equal to 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division. That is equal to 1 MSD minus N minus 1 over N MSD. Simplifying, that becomes N minus of N minus 1 divided by N. That becomes 1 over 
n msd so substituting for msd we will get 1 by n into 1 by n the answer is 1 by n square this answer least count of the one year cap calipers is 1 by e equals 1 by n square is available as option d please mark it next question Question number 21. If E and G respectively denote energy and gravitational constant, then E by G has dimensions of. This is asked in NEET 2021, that is last year, 2021 examination. Option A, M square into L to the power of minus 1, T to the power of 0. Option B, M, L to the power of minus 1, T to the power of minus 1. Option C, M into L to the power of 0 and T to the power of 0. And option D, M square, L to the power of minus 2 and T to the power of minus 1. Let us analyze it. We know, we have to remember that energy is half MV square. So, putting the dimensions, half does not have any dimension, it is capital M and dimensions of velocity are V R L T to the power of minus 1. Therefore, F is also is equal to whole square. So, F is also we know from fundamentals G into M1 M2 divided by half R square. That is F is force, G is the gravitational constant, M e and M2 are mass of bodies, two bodies, M1 and M2 respectively, and R is the distance between the two bodies, M1, two object, M1 and M2. So, substituting and rearranging for G, we get G is equal to F into R square divided by M1, M2. That is equal to M into L to the power of T minus 2 into L square. R square is L square divided by M square. Therefore, simplifying, we get G is equal to M to the power of minus 1. Minus 1 L cube into T to the power of minus 2. Therefore, G e is equal to E by G is equal to M into L square T to the power of minus 2 divided by m minus 1 l cube into t to the power of minus 2 that is equal to m square l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of 0. So, this answer is available as option A. Please mark it. Next question. If force F, acceleration A and time T are chosen as fundamental physical quantities, find the dimensions of energy. This is also asked in NEET 2021 examination. Four options are given A, B, C and D. We have to find the correct answer by analysis. Let us analyze. F is equal to V no mass into acceleration that is capital M in the terms of dimensions and A is also is given as a unit fundamental physical quantity. Therefore, M is equal to F by A, rearranging re in this slide. And we also should remember that M is equal to E, energy E is equal to M into capital V square, measured dimension. But acceleration itself is V into velocity over time, that is V into t to the power of minus 1. Therefore, v square is equal to a square into t to the power of 2. That is, t goes here and v square becomes a square into t square. Therefore, energy E is equal to m into a square t square. m into a. So, substituting this, this formula. Therefore, that is equal to f by a is equal to f by a that is for mass, we can put it as F by A, A square T square. That is equal to F into A and A. one A gets cancelled here. F into A into T T square. This answer is available as option A. Next question. Question number 23. 
The area of square is 5.29 meters square. The area of seven such squares taking into account the significant fi figure is four options are given 37 centimeters 37.03 centimeters option c 37.0 centimeter square and option d 37.030 centimeter square this question was asked in jee mains examination let us analyze so area of seven squares is 7 into 5.29 centimeter square it is area of one square is 5.29 so therefore 7 squares is 7 into 5.29 centimeter square that is equal to 37.03 centimeter square so the area with three significant figures is 37.0 centimeter square this is given as option c See here, you see 37.0 is very important. So option C is the correct answer. Next question. Question number 24. Suppose the quality, the quantity Y can be dimensionally represented in terms of mass M, L and T. That is dimensions of Y is equal to M to the power of A, L to the power of B and T to the power of C then m may be represented in terms of four options are there option a l comma t and y if a is equal to zero option b is l comma t and y if a is not equal to zero option c is it can always be dimensionally represented by l t and y and it can never be represented in terms of dimensionally in terms of L, T and Y, four options. This is asked in IIMS, AIIMS, All India Institute of Medical Sciences competitive examinations. So let us analyze it. So M is, Y we know that Y is equal to M to the power of A, L to the power of B and T to the power of C. So rearranging for M we get we get m to the m is equal to y to the power of 1 by a and l to the power of minus b by a and t to the power of minus c by a that is we have to put l and b to the denominator y is equal to denominator and y and y is positive numerator l and b will be in denominator and taking the root of a we get minus b by a minus c by a and 1 by a therefore if a is equal to 0 everything becomes infinite so it is it there's a dimensionally it cannot be represented whereas if a is not equal to 0 then we can always represent so option b is the correct answer you please mark it With this, we have completed theory portion, numerical problems, exercises, objective type questions, and previous year's questions connected with chapter number two, that is chapter number one as well as chapter number two, that is physical world and units and measurements. In the next lecture, we will take up a new chapter that is chapter number three on motion in straight line till then goodbye